I wrote the book because I wanted to convey to people what life is actually like for kids growing up on the so-called wrong side of the tracks. I mean, kids from, coming from have-not backgrounds. Because this change over time has occurred silently, many people my age who came from humble backgrounds, as I did, are inclined to say, well, I pulled myself up by my bootstraps. Why can't these kids do? Come on, kid, pull your boots up. Pull your socks up and get, get, get right. But that's because people my age were growing up in a different America in which the opportunities available to kids from poor backgrounds were much greater than they are now. There were many more folks around, family and friends and neighbors and school leaders and so on that were helping these kids. Now they're alone, and that means I wanted to say to people like me, people who've done pretty well and people who grew up in an earlier age, don't think that your personal experience is the experience of poor kids today. They're, they are starting off in a much worse situation than we did. And I wanted to make that, I wanted to tell stories so people could actually understand real kids in real communities and what, their prob what problems they face. Look, there are a lot of reasons why if we don't do something about this problem, America will be a lot worse off. We'll be a poorer country because we're not gonna benefit from the talents and skills of these, these talented poor kids. And we're gonna be, instead, we're gonna be paying for their ill health and their misbehavior. Um, the growing gap itself between opportunities available to kids from rich and poor violates the core principle of the American dream, the core of the American dream. The basic legitimate of our country depends upon the idea that how well you do in life should depend upon your skills and talents and not on what your parents did. That goes all the way back to the Declaration of Independence, that idea that this is, that we're all created equal. Um, but there's also a darker side. It's not just that we'll live in a poor America and America that is falling short of our own goals. Um, these kids are unbelievably alienated and they're and they don't they don't take much part in politics but they are frankly easy pickings for demagogues and therefore as I wrote in our kids um, expressing the anger of these poor kids but without offering any solutions Thank you.